Hey besties, it's your girl Catherine. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Back to school season is here. Some of you guys are starting this week or in a couple of multiple weeks and I have been thinking about what are some products that I use to bring to school, things that are just like hygienic essential items. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my hygiene emergency kit. Now there are actually some products that I couldn't actually fit into the bag because I don't have like the travel to go product and I was going to buy them but I was like I don't go to school anymore but maybe once I do go to work which is this is also a really great kit for work as well if you just need something to freshen up. These products are my must have super essential you are starting school or work and you're just like okay I need something to have like for emergencies this is the way to go I also bought this little travel bag on Amazon it came like a three kit there's like another one somewhere around here let's go ahead and get started with my hygiene kit so I honestly will say this was $13 including two other things but I feel like it will like bust if I were to like add more things inside so I don't know if I will recommend this just because it feels a little bit cheap in my opinion i've had something like this before and i just feel like it's so fragile like it'll bust if you add like more things so let's go ahead and unzip her look at this ah okay so first off for all the people who get their periods this is probably an obvious one i feel like this is a necessity in most emergency hygiene kit videos but pads tampons panty liners, anything that you use during your period of time, ooh, you need these during the times when you just like unexpectedly have your period. I always carry a little bit extra as well because sometimes a friend will be like, hey, I, I got my time of the month. Do you, does anyone have something? And I'm just like, hey, here you go. Whatever you want, whatever you need, the essentials. So if you get your period once in a while or you still have your period, these are just like chef's kiss you need these absolutely so in any way shape or form i always carry these around with me now i've seen a lot of people carry around period panties just like some basic all but booty cheeks covered you can get those at walmart and target i forgot to put it in here but that is just like something that's very common for a hygiene emergency kit if you're bleeding you don't want to keep it on just get like a extra ziploc bag put that in there or just cover in tissue put it in there and then just put on your new fresh pair and you're good to go for the rest of the day every time i'm very cautious when talking about like wipes or flushable wipes because there are so many people that are very pro environmentally friendly i feel like especially during these times global warming and everything of all things we want to protect our earth and try to Bry products that can be biodegradable, but I know those cost a lot of money. But here is an option that I did find on Amazon. This is the Kaboo Bamboo Wipes. It comes with 30 jumbo baby wipes. I love these after having a gym class or if I just really just feel disgusting from the humidity of the weather. If I'm walking back and forth to my classes and the campus is massive, like if you're going to college, these are a must. And the best thing about these is that they are biodegradable so I don't have to worry and just feel super bad about like ruining the environment so it's raining outside today too so you guys can hear some asmr background noises but these are just a great option if you just want to be a little bit environmentally friendly they're nice they're unscented as well which is what i love about them sometimes scented wipes kind of kill the vibe for me i don't know why but i want to kind of cleanse my skin before putting on like more deodorant or more like body spray and things like that so these were six dollars so i'm not gonna say like this is like the most affordable option ever but wipes are essential for an emergency kit you cannot go wrong with them you can also get them at dollar store so these are amazing though if you are trying to find an environmentally friendly baby wipe so I love these. Next up, let's talk about deodorant. As I mentioned, I don't have a baby one, but they do have like the little small ones and then they also have like the spray ones as well. But this is what I have around the house. And actually back in middle school, I did carry like just like a full size version of like a deodorant. This one right here is the Arm & Hammer Essentials with natural deodorizers. This is probably like an old bottle. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, but this one's the Fresh Rosemary Lavender. I really enjoy this one, especially when I'm feeling a little bit self-conscious at the gym because even though I don't really produce like BO, I do sweat and I feel like my sweat can be very salty. So I love carrying this around when I'm at the gym or going to school and just like have a gym class. If you have a block schedule or like a regular six period class and your first three classes are the gym, 
mm, not the best but whenever you do get them at the end of the day it's the best thing ever because you don't have to worry about like walking around school and being a little intimidated that you might not smell good but when I was in school I kept deodorant around with me at all times and now that they have like the aerosol spray ones those are really nice and efficient as well when it comes to hygiene we also want to take care about of our insides as well you know sometimes you might get a headache or your tummy will hurt or you might get a boo-boo like running to class because you're like 10 minutes late <laughs> i definitely want to emphasize having some tums i don't think i've seen a video where people talked about tums because if you get bubble guts or like stomach issues very easily you have a sensitive stomach i highly recommend getting like a mini size of the anti-acid tablets Tums are like the generic brand, but they have one and I did have one, but I left it back at home at my parents house And that's just so convenient because whenever you're done with them You can refill them with like the big ones, but the Equate brands from Walmart work just the same But I do want to say Avoid these though. These are the Tums Chewy Bites Cooling Sensation Fruit Fusion. These taste disgusting They are convenient because they're like coated so it's not like all powdery and everything But these just don't get this flavor because it tastes fruity, but it also has like a really weird minty taste at the end. We're trying to finish these up, but like every time someone uses them, they dread using them because they're just so gross. But highly recommend grabbing like a travel size and then you can always refill it anytime because sometimes if you haven't ate in a while or if you just finished a meal and then you got some food poisoning, these will just help that upset stomach you're having the other day. And let me tell you guys, I feel like an upset stomach to me is worse than a headache. But I want to talk about having some ibuprofen or Tylenol, acetaminophen, that's such a hard word to say, around you because, you know, sometimes you're like, oh my goodness, I have a killer headache. I can't concentrate on schoolwork. You do have some, like, Boo, I got you. These help. You also have extracurricular sport activities and you kind of like have some muscle aches. These also help uninflame those little parts of your body so i always carry ibuprofen around this is just an amazing just a little tiny bottle so cute i love it but yeah always carry this around you never know when you're gonna get a headache or a little muscle cramp because muscle cramps suck moving on i always have like a little like ziploc bag with like my little mini thing so it keeps like the little hygiene kit very organized just because there's things are just laying around there uh, let me open this up to show you guys the first thing i have here is chapstick oh my goodness Vaseline chapstick. I have this really huge tub of Vaseline just staring right at me out of the camera shot, but I love using Vaseline for my lips just because I know that no matter what scent it is, chapstick or the chap ice from the Dollar Tree brand will keep my lips very comforting and less dry because I don't know why, but every time when I was in school, high school, middle school, they had their AC on all day <laughs> classrooms are so cold i felt like it was so you didn't have to fall asleep because you know when you're like in warm weather you just kind of want to like blaze around a little bit but sometimes the ac will like take a toll on your lips so i highly recommend grabbing some chapstick i also have if you don't really like the petroleum version i do recommend this eos the hero extra day lip treatment this is actually probably one of my favorite eos lip products you know how like they usually have like the little ball ones or the stick versions i feel like those make my lips dry out even more because i remember back in middle school their formula was to the point where it made your lips even worse so this stuff is amazing it is like five dollars though this you can never go wrong with petroleum jelly like this one's also cocoa butter scented too so you get a little bit of a, a little scent a little flavor up in there so I highly recommend grabbing, having this in your kit. You just need it. Next up, we have some band-aids. Oh my goodness, band-aids are lifesavers. You never know when you need them. Every time I pack band-aids, I'm just like, I'm never going to use this. But then there's just like those weird, unexpected emergencies. You're just like, oh my goodness, someone needs a band-aid. I need a band-aid. I just got a paper cut. You know, you just, I hate paper cuts, they're the worst. But I highly recommend band-aids. These are just like your regular ones. You can get the Hydro Seal ones. I always get blisters on my feet, so I always have to carry these around. And then also some typical band-aids. Next up, we have some more medicine products. I recommend having some cough drops laying around you. This is just an essential, especially during the end of the fall semester and the beginning of the spring semester. A must-have, so essential. Highly recommend them. You grab them anywhere. I love the cream ones because they taste like candy. The Halls cream ones, like the fruit smoothies, are so good, okay? But anyways, the last thing I have in this little bag are placards. Now, they're not like the same thing as like flossing dental floss but whenever you got food stuck in your teeth during lunch 
These are amazing. I don't know if you guys are the same as me, but every time I have food stuck in my teeth, I just think about it the whole day and I can't do anything about it. I'm just like, dang. So I just keep messing around with it. So these are just so essential after you eat lunch or breakfast. Must have, must have, okay? So I hate having food stuck in my teeth. That's like one of my pet peeves, like myself. I don't care if other people have food stuck in their teeth because I'm minding my own business, but when it's on my teeth, it just feels so weird. So these are just my top essential products like i just have to have these around me next up are kleenex or tissues or things whenever you like have sniffles or like you just need to wipe something off you tissues are the best thing in the entire world you can also get these at the dollar store too they're very affordable but i like just like having these because sometimes during like those colder months or when there's like too much ac in a room like my nose would get very stuffed and then i have to blow it but like I don't want to like have like it all drooping on my face. I'm going to be real with you guys here. That's probably sounds really disturbing and disgusting or TMI, but it's the truth. It's sometimes whenever you just got to have an unexpected sneeze, it's just like, ugh, it's everywhere. And then people are staring at you. So these are just a must have for me just because I always have those instances where I just have too much snot or gunk up in there in my nose. I just need to like it out. So whenever I go into the bathroom, I just make sure I'm just like, clear out all the sinuses a1 top grade you need to have them with my asian eyelashes they kind of don't curl and stay curled whenever i use like an eyelash curler so they'll kind of just like go whoop, like really down so i always have to have q-tips around me or whenever you just need to clean your ears as well these are just an essential i did buy this little container it is from like the q-tip brand for like a dollar fifty a while back ago so after i finished using up the q-tips i just have like the really big ones i just refill them these are just so nice and they're just like so great to have around me because there are times when i need to like touch get rid of like some mascara that's just been like staining my under eyes i don't know if you guys have had that problem but i don't know if anyone talks about that because i've never heard anyone talk about that so i'll just use like a q-tip and just kind of touch it up i'll just use like some water you see that I already have some right here so i'll just touch it up right there and then throw it away and then they're just so convenient oh a dollar tree also sells like something like this but it's like an open one so definitely buy the ones at dollar tree if you're on a budget because q-tips are q-tips cotton swabs or cotton swabs another product that i like to have with me alongside with chapstick or vaseline i like having some lip gloss around i just feel like a nice touch up just to make myself feel a little bit extra special throughout the day even after lunch i'll just put some on a little bit more i'm actually in the market right now to find a really nice comforting quality lip gloss if you guys know any good brands or special products for those let me know down below i will buy them and use them because i'm almost running out of these but i just think lip gloss just makes me feel a little bit extra special when i use these throughout the day they're not super essential they just make me feel like i'm put together a little bit more than usual some hair care products oh my goodness these are a must i love having hair ties i will carry around so many of them and if anyone needs them i'm just like here you go here's a hair tie just love having them but recently i have been getting a little bit more sensitive because sometimes i'll do like a really tight ponytail when i'm working out so sometimes i will use like a claw clip a lot of people have been really obsessed with claw clips i have these ones they're amazing for asian hair if you have asian thick hair and you know how like sometimes with hair it gets so slippery because it's like so nice and healthy you know what i'm saying that's a compliment that's a compliment and like your typical hair clip won't like stick together and it'll just all fall out and then you have to redo like the little bun or like the new claw clip style you found these on amazon it's like a 10 pack for like eight dollars i will put the link down below these are the best claw clips i've ever used i gave some away to my friends as well you need this in your life there's some right there too <laughs> but i love these so much just because they stick to my hair and they won't fall out now for this product i don't have a travel size product but you can get this at ulta target wherever this is the batiste dry shampoo i love batiste dry shampoo like i've tried every other dry shampoo there is but this just always takes the cake it's so good and this is like the extra long version you can get like a marshall's super affordable by the way if you want to like save some money get like a really big bulk dry shampoo get them at like at marshall's tj maxx they work the same as like the regular size ones but i do know they do they have these for travel size sometimes when i'm feeling really greasy and i just need like a touch up for like a little bit of routage right there i spray a little bit of this let it soak up even though like in the classroom my hair will be a little gray i'll just like judge it up just a tiny bit so i definitely think having some dry shampoo whatever your favorite brand is is a must in your hygiene emergency kit just to have like your hair looking nice and fresh 
and clean all day. Another thing that goes along with the deodorant, I'm doing this so randomly, but this is some dry spray. This has been super popular. Dry sprays were not a thing back in the day when I was like in middle school. Maybe it was, but I didn't even notice, but they were like really expensive. But this is the Degree Dry Spray in Pure Clean. And this one's the Ultra Clear one, which I really have been enjoying when I've been going on a workout and I'm just like a little bit self-conscious with like the smell this just gives like a really nice like scent so what I would do is I would use like a, a baby wipe clean down that armpit area and then spray her once again and I'm just like okay I feel really good now like I don't feel like I'm sweaty and gross and salty smelling so this is just like a nice like option as well along with the deodorant. I know that Dove makes like the really cute little travel size ones. Now talking about dental hygiene throughout the day, I had this idea of bringing like some Listerine mouthwashes, like just like the mini ones and just like one shot it and then do it in the bathroom sink. But then I thought about it leaking and one of my pet peeves about having a hygiene kit, the product might not be leak proof. So this right here, I always carried gum around me during middle school, but this is the extra long lasting flavor in Spearmint. I love the polar ice one. It's like a turquoise teal color. That was my favorite. This is amazing for after lunch or if you just have too much garlic and onion, which by the way, those are like my favorite seasonings or like vegetables I, I, was, or I don't know what those are called and sometimes it goes a little bit too overboard so I have to use some of this I did remember back in middle school and high school I did have those Listerine strips those were so good and I also did have like the spray kind as well like you know how, like sometimes in the movies like before the person kisses someone they always do like a little spray I thought that was really cool those will literally brighten your mouth up because it's so strong and the menthol fragrance I feel like if you use fruity gum and combine it with like the food that you just ate it'll make it worse is that a thing gum listerine strips or like the little spray these are just like must-haves all right so after the gym or after you're doing something sweaty or you're just outside and it's really gross sometimes your clothes need a little bit of freshening up now you can't really do it with like baby wipes i mean you could but then like your clothes would be a little damp but this right here is so good i don't think anyone's ever talked about this but this is the febreze to go original and i love to spray this on my body whenever i'm out like after eating like korean barbecue or having like something that's just like really smoky so i'll just like spray this on my clothes and just have like a really nice refreshing moment there i feel like this is great for when you're sweating a lot because it is still like summer and you want to just refresh your clothes a little bit because even though you already changed into like your gym clothes and then afterwards you're wearing your clothes and your body's still a little sticky this is so good like this one just has like a really nice fresh laundry scent and you guys can get this near like the laundry products so i really enjoy this and this is just so convenient to have and i love having some antibacterial hand spray around me this is from bath and body works you can get the spray kind anywhere dollar tree walmart anything that is in your budget but i prefer having the hand spray ones more than like the gel which i do have the gel one on my keys but like this is just so much easier to have especially when you're going to lunch whatever your preference is hand sanitizer is so good and sometimes when you're just like not in the mood to like get like a cleansing wipe for like your desk because desks are really dirty just spray some of this stuff let it like cool a little dry a little little bit and then you have like a really nice clean desk when you're changing classes so highly recommend this and of course the last thing that i have to mention for my complete hygiene kit is to have like little mini like sprays body sprays and lotion the body cream can go very well as also as like a hand cream if you need to just to compact the essential kit and it also has a great fragrance this one is sunset glow by the way but whenever you're on the go and you're just like oh shoot i need something to spray just like having this around is so good also this one is just perfect for like back to school season just because it has like coconut vanilla and a little bit of cherry so every time i smell it it smells different in every way right now it smells like coconut to me but just having like your little mini spray and lotion is just perfect bath and body works always has like a sale for the mini so don't i highly recommend to wait and not pay like 750 for one of these or 750 for one of these they're just not worth it to pay like $15 for like a complete like set of this but I do recommend if you do need to freshen up and if you are not extra like me who will carry an actual big bottle of spray with you around these are just so easy compact 
on the go and ready to be used. That was basically everything for this hygiene essentials kit. Let me know down below what else you put in your kit or something that you just have to have around just so you can feel nice, fresh, clean throughout the day because I would love to know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.